Apparently, these two teams are here to play. Hi everyone, Jeannie Zalasko here with Steve Fiziok, set to take you out to the ballpark for a little preseason tune-up. We've got an interleague matchup for you here. It's the San Francisco Giants and the Boston Red Sox. Barry Zito will throw the first pitch for the Giants in this one. His ERA was just over 3.8 last year. Kurt Schilling will also get the start for the Boston Red Sox. Jeannie, Kurt Schilling starts most batters off with his fastball in the mid-90s that just blows past them for strike one, two, and three. Then he has an excellent selection of slider, curb change, and a tremendous split finger pitch to finish off the hapless hitter. So, if he gets you down in the count today, you may be out of there early. Thanks for being with us at Hardball Central. Now it's just about time for the first pitch in Boston. So let's bring in our colleagues and veteran broadcast team, John Miller and Hall of Famer Joe Morgan. John? With the big green wall in left field, the signature of Fenway Park, Boston, we're ready to bring you another edition of exciting Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Baseball coming up, exhibition style action coming up next. Today, it's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Boston Red Sox. Hello everyone, this is John Miller alongside my longtime partner Joe Morgan and we should have a pretty good matchup here in this one. And Joe, as the Giants take the field below us, what do you think is the key for them in this matchup? I'm going to watch out for Richard Rear in this one. He had a nice 300 average in 2006 and he can really light things up with runners in scoring position. A few years ago he had a 30 plus home runs and a 100 plus RBI season. Kurt Schilling will be doing the pitching. He's averaged more than eight strikeouts per nine innings pitch for the year. Well, your chance is always great when you have Kurt Schilling towing the rubber for you. He's got a great command of three pitches, a nasty splitter, late-breaking slider, a good line fastball. And when he's on his game, there are a few better. All right, Joe. First pitch, 1236. The temperature at game time is absolutely freezing. Wind speed is currently steady at 15 miles per hour from the north by northwest. Drops down a bunt. Schilling is there. And his throw gets him. Oh, yeah. Well, he's just trying to get on any way possible. But he just doesn't drop this one down in the proper spot. He can't leg this one out. Base is empty. Wow. He kicks. He throws. Fastball in there for a called strike. Line shot into center field, and it's in there, base hit. Bay throws to second. Now batting. It's always good to get a single, even with one out, but it gives them something to work with. With one out, there's a runner at first. First pitch to it. Man, that's a great two-strike pitch, but it doesn't work here. Curveball down, starts in the strike zone, breaks down in the dirt. You'll get a lot of hitters to chase it. Now he sets. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Check swing, but it's in there anyway. One and one. A swing, that's the ruling. He rules it a swing, and uh, there was no hesitation in that call either. Here's the 1-1 delivery. Swing and a fly ball down the left field line. Morrow boots it. Now that Number 38 steps to the plate for the first time in this one. Better watch the runner on second, John. He's got the speed, so if he gets a pretty good jump, he might take off. The pitch. One thing you're always trying to do as a pitcher is mix your speed and your location. So with that in mind, he might bring this one inside. And they caught him leaning, and he's picked off. Joe, I like what the pitcher does here because I'm a bottom line man. He got him. I like it. Well, this is just a total breakdown in concentration by the runner at third. If I'm the man, that guy got rides the pine for the rest of the game, no matter who it is. Outside. One and one. 
Now he's set. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Excellent control there, hitting the outside corner, one and two. The one-two pitch. That fastball just about had him, and it's two and two now. He's ready. Here's the two-two. Swings and lines this one towards the hole. Pedroia has got it. Close the first in time for out number three. The San Francisco Giants pick up no runs on two hits and they strand just the one. Now we'll go to the bottom of inning number one and we have no score. Barry Zito is going to be the pitcher in this one. He's averaged just more than six strikeouts for every nine in his pitch. Well, that's the most sought after free green. There's a swing and a high pop up. Feliz is there and he makes the catch. Now batting first base. Now the lineup for the Red Sox. Kevin Euclid will be second up for him. First pitch, here it comes. That fastball up and in will keep the hitter from leaning out over the plate. He throws. That one goes foul. Here's a swing and a soft liner towards left center. And that one falls in there, base hit. This one rolls through to the wall. Now John, good bat speed through the zone that there. time. He's one out now. Let's see if they can try to move him along. One out, one out, one first. First pitch on the way. Starts it out with a fastball for a strike. Control, you should not pitch inside because you can hit the guy and then you put a runner at first. The 1-1 one, one pitch. A lot of times the fastball up and in can be the toughest pitch for anybody to hit. He's at the belt. Now the 2-1. a high drive. Hooking into the corner. Two balls and two strikes. He's ready. The 2-2. Two, two. Swings and sends this one right up to shoot, way up there, near second base. Durham on the run, and he gets to it for the out. Now batting left fielder. I keep hearing that expression, Manny B. Manny. In 2006 with the Red Sox, Manny had 100 walks, and he always has those runs around the When I think of Manny B. Manny, that's what I think of. The guy is one of the best hitters in the game. He swings and ground ball third. Throw the second to the fourth, and the side is retired. So, no run, one hit, and nobody left. We'll go to the top of the second, and we have no score. Five, six, seven hitters coming up next. Ray Durham will be leading it off, and they're going to have to deal with him somehow. Here's the pitch. Leading off the top of the second inning, second base. And this is hit in the air, foul down the left field line. Inside and high for a ball. One and one. Here's the one one pitch. Swing a line drive. Here's the one two pitch on the way. Now here's a ball grinding towards the hole. Nicholas has it. But he'll have to hold it as he can't make a play. Molina, better step in now. Nobody out, and runner at first. First pitch to him. Trying to butt his way aboard here, but he misses for a strike. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. 
And that's a base hit as it gets down in front of him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Durham is around third. And he's going to go for it. And he will score. Great base runner. There's a runner at second. No one's yet. First pitch on the way. Well, most hitters aren't going to chase that pitch down the way because they can't hit it anyway. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Curveball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. He's ready, the 2-0 pitch. Fastball just misses, and he runs it to 3-0. The 3-0 pitch. And he won't come in on 3-0, so he has given up a walk. Sweeney now steps to the plate, and makes his first trip to the plate in the game. Runners on first and second, nobody out. The pitch. One ball just misses. One ball, no strikes. He's at the belt. The 1 0. This one swung on and hit down the line and right. Drew is there and puts it away for out number one. Johnny covers a lot of ground out there and he's able to rain to his left and pull this one in near the line. Runners at first and second with one out. First pitch, here it comes. That's on the outside corner for a strike. Swung on, grounded towards the hole with a diamond stop. Over the first and two. Very close play, and they don't get the double play, not this time. Runners at first and third, two down. First pitch to it. On the ground to third. Doesn't get the call on the splitter, and it's one and one. Pitch. Here it is. And here's a fly ball to straight away left. Ramirez is there and he makes the catch to retire the side. The San Francisco Giants pick up a run on two hits and they've left a couple of men on base. On now the last half of the second. San Francisco is our top one in a five, six, seven years coming up next. JD Drew will try and cause some trouble leading off to the next inning. Swing a high pop up into foul ground behind first. He delivers. Well, he's here in Now, here's a walk back and forth the hole. Aurelia is up with it. Not in time. He beats it out for an infield single, despite the near great play. Mike Lowell comes in here. He finished up last year with 20 home runs. He finished last season with 80 RBIs. Change up. Just misses. 1-0. Now, Lowell pitch on the way. Lays foul to the right side. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. This one's popped in the air, drifting out toward the right side. Durham is right there, and he puts it away. Baracek, only the third ever to be a captain for the Red Sox. From your specialty, Jim Rice, and preceded him in that role. One on, one out. First pitch, here it comes. This one swung on and hit in the air. Roberts is in his tracks as he puts this one away. That's about as easy as it gets for a center fielder. Run on first, two outs. First pitch on the way. Fastball in there for a called strike. with the curveball is if you do not get enough rotation on it, it will not break sharply, it will hang. The 1-1 one, one pitch. He checked his swing, but they're going to appeal that call to the first base umpire. 
no swing there. They thought they had him, and I thought they had him. First base popped him up. Durham is right there, and he will put it away to retire the side. No runs on one base hit, and runner left the first. We'll go to the top of it, number three. The Giants in front, one to nothing. And they've got the two, three, four spots due up next. Randy Wynn is due up second, and you've always got to be very careful with him. And that's outside, ball one. Now the 1 0 -oh pitch. In there at the letters, that evens up the count at 1 1. The 1 1 pitch on the way. Swung on, hit softly towards the hole. Chilling is there. And his throw is in time for out number one. Well, the umpire called his man out, but Bruce Bochy did not think so. I mean, very clearly, that Bruce saw that one with, uh, with X-ray eyes. Here's a swing, and the ball popped up, foul down the left field line. He throws. That one swung on and hit in the air to deep right center field. Well, the base hit with one out puts a man on. Now let's see what they can do with it. Joe. Now they've got a lead here, John, but it's still a fairly close ball game. Let's see with all that speed at second base if they're willing to put the pressure on by trying to steal the base. Two. Let's see if they want to finish it right here or waste one. He spins and throws back to second and he dives back safely. Fastball <laughs> in there. He struck it out for a lot of Ray Durham will be batting here at Durham. Last year he hit 294. He has a 281 career batting average. First pitch to him. Fastball in there for a call strike. He looks at the curve in there. Now he's behind 0 and 2. On the way. Ooh, tough to lay off that fastball, but he did. One and two. A one-two pitch coming. Swing and a ground ball to third. Lowell is right there. Throws the first and the side is retired. The San Francisco Giants get no runs on one hit, and they leave a man in second. Now we'll go to the bottom of the third. The Giants on top, one to nothing. The numbers nine, one, and two spots coming up next. Julio Lugo, always a hitter to watch, and he'll be coming up third in the order. Fastball in there for a call strike. Strike two at the knees. Nothing in two. Ball swung on and missed. He struck him out. One away. Julio Lugo up to the plate. This past season he hit 279. He finished last season with 12 home runs. He checked his swing there, but they're going to appeal that see if he really did check his swing in time. And he's still alive. No swing there, so instead of a strikeout, they've got to they throw another one. The one hole pitch, a fastball swung on and missed. One and one. Here's the one and one pitch. 
Slided just off the corner, and it's 2-1. Here's the 2-1 pitch on the way. Those look good, but now it's 3-1. Three ball to the strike, here he comes. Hit hard to the right side. This is the payoff pitch coming. Hit in the air to center field. Roberts to his knees. Oh, what a great catch. Roberts. Really takes charge of this one and is able to haul it in in a spectacular fashion. Well, he gets a good break on the ball, John, and he's determined to get to it in time. And he does so indeed. Nice play. First pitch, here it comes. Lays off a called strike, and it's all in one. Here's the pitch. That swung on at a high fly ball to right. Wynn hasn't played perfectly as he puts this one away. Three up, three down this happening. We're through three innings now. San Francisco leads one to nothing. The six, seven, eight hitters are coming up next. Benji Molina will be the first man up. Off the top of the first pitch to him. Number one, Benji Molina. Ball well, ball. you try to get the hitter to chase that riding fastball, but he wouldn't chase that one. The 1 0 pitch. That's off the plate and low. Two and up. Now the 2 0 pitch. Now the 2 1 pitch. Chase that one, and he needs to count up at 2 2. 2 2 on the way. Oh, the oh, dugout outside. wanted that one. Full count. The 3 2 pitch. Hit in the air to center field. That one falls in there for a base hit. Now coming to bat. The leadoff man is on, and he'll try to extend this lead a little bit. One man on, nobody on. Here it comes. It's slowly in the ground for third. This one's hit pretty well to deep left center field. And as you see, it's off the wall on a hop. Chris lets this one eat him up. Swing will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. Nobody out. Runners on first and third. First pitch on the way. Fastball in will set up the next pitch. That will keep the outside corner for the pitcher. Ready with the one open. Swing in the line drive. Here's the one one delivery. Change up just off the corner and it's two and one. Here's the two and one pitch. He's set. Here's the 3-1 delivery. He follows that one off. The 3-2 pitch. Well, he had a base open, so he didn't want to give in. He made a good pitch with the splitter, but he just missed. Well, we have our eyes glued on center stage at this moment. Schilling is fighting to get out of this inning alive, but the odds are not looking great. 
He's got runners all over the bases with no room for anybody else. Right now, the offense has him on the ropes, and they can't afford to let him off the hook. It's just a one-run ball game, and they're probably going to need a few insurance runs. That's a perfect location for a strikeout. Let's see if he goes back there again. He kicks, he throws. Swung up, bounced weakly to second. There's one, but he'll hold on to it so they just get the one. This one's right back towards him, and he's able to glove it and get the lead runner at the plate. Hold on to your seats, friends. Chilling in an awfully tight spot. One man down, three men aboard. A base hit here would blow this game wide open, John. The batter in this situation just needs to wait for his pitch and put a good swing on it. Fresh pitch to him. Lays off a called strike at the knees. All one. The old one pitch, a fastball swung out of this. All two. He tries to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's one and two. The one-two pitch. Here's a swing of a fly ball. Medium depth. Let's see if they try to score him. And the throw. Now coming to bat. Shortstop. And Joe, here we go, Chilling puts his thoughts together as he tries to figure out a way to get out of this bases-loaded crisis. John, the best pitchers in this type of situation are those that have a short-term memory. He's got to forget about how the mess occurred and just go out and attack this guy. First pitch, here it comes. Well, he had great location on that curve, but you still got to swing at it. He delivers. And he watches one miss. Low one outside. One and one. Now he's set. Here's the one. This is swung on and a liner. Over the second for one. And there's the second out. A double play. The Giants scratch across the run on three hits with a couple of men left on. The last and fourth, the Giants on top, two to nothing. The three, four, five spot to the order coming up next. David Ortiz will be coming up first. He's always dangerous. First pitch on the way. The fastball is up in the way. They're not going to get the job done today. John, this is what being at home means. He's getting the benefit of the home crowd. A swing of a fly ball to left center field. Sweeney goes over and puts it away. He has to come in on this ball, but he's able to get there in time and put it away. First pitch on the way. Starts it out with a fastball for a strike. Over for a call strike. Nothing in two. One and two. Low one outside of that one, and it's one and two. The one two pitch. Curve ball swung out of this. He struck it out. Two down. That's a hard breaking curveball right there. He threw it right past him for the strikeout. This one had a big break on it and it came in at 75 miles per hour. Here's a recap of the strikeout. He put together quite a string of good pitches. He got it on replay. Let's take a look. Yeah, one after the other, and he just looks unhittable right now. And he delivers. This is swung on and hit the ground. This cow is there. Throws the first and the side of the team.
How are they doing here this afternoon? Through four at Fenway. Giants in front, two to nothing. The numbers three, four, five spots. The big hitters, you are. Randy Wynn will be coming up in the next inning, and they'll have to deal with him somehow. First pitch, here it comes. Number two, Randy Wynn. Fastball just misses. One ball, no strikes. Here's the one on delivery. And this is hit in the air, foul down the left field line. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and ground ball. Lugo is there to make the play. And his throw is in time for lot number one. Number 38 comes in now. He's a switch hitter batting from the left side. Nobody on base with one out. Here's a swing and a drive. Deep center. And it is off the center field wall for extra bases. He finds a pitch he can drive and his hands blow through the zone first. He's in scoring position with one out. Wire and runner in second. Here's a swing and a fly ball. Chris is there and he puts it away for the second out. He just gets in the swing underneath this thing and lost an easy fly to center. Good pitch. Benji. Orange swims in at second base with two down. First pitch to Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Lays off the fastball. Good pitch. One ball, one strike. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. Drew is there and he gloves it for the out. The Giants pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. And it'll be last of the fifth. The Giants lead two to nothing. The six, seven, eight hitters are coming up next. Mike Lowell coming to the plate next, and he always guarantees a lot of trouble to play. First pitch, here it comes. Curveball just misses. One ball, no strikes. Here's the one zero pitch. The toughest pitch in baseball to handle, according to Ted Williams, is the fastball up and in. And the 2 0 pitch. There's the ground ball. Zito scoops it up, and he throws on the first for the out. Ball away. Veritek will dig in. He's a switcher. Back from the right side here. Veritek. One out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. Man, that's what you call pop in the mitt. Right on the outside corner. Down and away. Got the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now. 0-2. Oh Change up. Thought he had it, but it's 1-2. One two pitch coming. Hit the ground down the first base line. Here's the one two pitch on the way. There's a swing and the ball popped foul over near the dugout. Arilli is there to put away for out number two. Chris will step in now. Two outs, no one on. First pitch on the way. That's a tough pitch to commit to there. You never look for a changeup down and in. Can't catch up that time. It's a swing and a miss. Swing and a 
high drive. Here's one pop foul to short right. Let's go now, Coco! He kicks, he throws. That one swung on and hit in the air to deep right center field. Roberts is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Nothing across. Here in the end, we play five ball. San Francisco leads two to nothing. And if you happen to just be joining in, I'm John Miller along with Joe Morgan bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. It's the last third of the batting order coming up. Rich Aurelian will try and get something started. He's up third in the next inning. That one goes five. Swung out of the line softly toward the left side. Lowell is there and he puts it away. Sweeney will step in. He drew a walk his last time. Nobody on base with one out. First pitch to him. And that's a high strike on the outside. The 0-1 pitch is a fastball for a call strike. the second out of the inning. Tavares is going to be the new pitcher. He was a 15 game winner last year. Well, I think you let the starter go a bit longer, but they will turn to the pin here anyway. Base is empty, two down. The pitch. That swung on and a high fly ball to right. Drew puts it away in the side of the time. And they're going in short order here. Now we'll go to the last of the six. The Giants lead it two to nothing. The numbers nine, one, and two spots due up next. Julio Lugo is due up third, and they'll have to watch out for him. First pitch on the way. Number 64. Fastball swung on the next all in one. There's a swing and a rocket toward short. This cow has got it, and he is out at first. What a play! Lugo will step in. He had a fly ball out his last time. First pitch, here it comes. Hit in the air to left center. Sweeney glides over and makes the catch for the out. This one's headed towards the gap, but it's a bit high, and the left hander moves to his left and puts it away. Few outs, nobody on. First pitch to it. Here's a check swing, but it's called a strike anyway. 0-1. 1 2, you gotta concentrate on putting the ball in play. Strikeout doesn't help you here. Strikes him out, and Joe, we got ourselves quite the pitching performance going in this one. Absolutely untouchable. Enough said. The Boston Red Sox aren't able to push across anything. They've been shut out through the first six. At the end of six full innings, San Francisco is on top two. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. Randy Wynn is known for being a very fine hitter. He's due up third in the end. Sinker just misses. Ball on. Well, pitch on the way. Change up just off the corner. Now he falls behind 2 0. The 2 0 pitch on the way. Well, he had him looking in and he paints the outside corner. Two balls to strike. Here he comes. One pitch. Swung on and rounded towards the hole. Lowell grabs it. And his slow gets him. Oh, well. Now, this cow will come back now. There's one for three in the game. 
Blackout not on. He throws. And this is Lowman away for ball one. Now the ball pitch on the way. The ball pitch is a fastball in there. One and one. Now the one one pitch. Swung on and popped way up there to shallow right. Pedroia is over and he puts it away for the end. And then, go back here. Put the ground down his last time. Base is empty. Two down here. First pitch, here it comes. First pitch is a sinker in there. It's 0-1. Hit the dirt. Pedroia is there. He'll throw on the first and the second one. That's all I see. And they're coming to check here in their half of the end. And the seventh stretch here in Boston. The Giants on top. Two. The three, four, five spot to the order. Coming up next. David Ortiz will be the first man out. Pitch on the way. Here's the swing. The ball popped up. Foul down the left field line. A shot out the middle. Durham dives and he made the catch. Wow, what a play. Durham really lays himself out to snare this one. Well, this has base hit written all over him. He's got a beat on this thing from the instant it leaves the bat and makes a remarkable play. First pitch, John. Well, he tried to throw a strike with it, but he left that change up, up and away. The one on pitch on the way. John, he's a fan. This one will have a chance to go. It's fair. Gone a solo homer. But that gets him back a little bit. Two runs down and only open in the home run. And now it's a one run game. Sometimes a great curveball can really fool the hitter. But this one is hanging. And man, he puts a charge into this. You know, guys who have great curveballs, the more they show, the more likely they are to, to hang them. I wish I'd have seen a few more pitches like that. <laughs> J.D. Drew steps in now. Has a career value of 286. He's got 162 owners under his belt. That one finds the outside corner for strike one. Tough spot for a hitter. 0 and 2. Pitcher has a lot of pitches he can play with. He throws. He checked his swing, but they want to appeal to the third base umpire now to see if he really did hold up in time. And ruled a swing by the umpire, who said he went around on that one. Morrell will be the new pitcher in the game. He's got an ERA just above 3.80. And the hitters have got a 257 combined back end. And this sets up a lefty-lefty matchup. That should work in their favor. First pitch, here it comes. First pitch, a slider for a call strike. Look out a line drive that shattered the back. Close the first in time for out number three. For the Boston Red Sox, narrow the deficit a bit as they pick up a run on the home. We'll move ahead to the eighth. Giants lead it 2 to 1. The middle of the order, the 4 5 6 spots coming up next. Number 38 is due up next, and you always have to be careful here. Number 38. Check his swing, but it's in there. All in one. Well, he throws a 
change up, up and away, you might want to come back with a fastball inside. The 1-1 one -one pitch on the way. Ground is back to the mound. Lugo has got it. His throw, not in time. That'll be an infield single. Now back. Ray Durham gets a turn here. Last year he hit 294. Last year he finished here at 26 homes. Starting to go around, but it's in there for a call strike anyway. All in one. The pitch. Shot up the middle. That's one. And two. A double play. And a great throw, a strong throw by the second baseman. Well, you got to have that throw. It's usually a matter of a split second. Very good looking double play there, John. Molina will bat here. He drove in a run earlier in this game. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch on the way. First pitch is a sinker away. Ball one. Now one more pitch on the way. On the ground to third. Lowell has it. And he throws on the first. And the side of the time. So no run, one hit, and nobody left. Here come the Red Sox in the home half of the eighth. San Francisco is on top two to one. It's the last third of the we're coming up. Jason Varitek will be leading it off, and they're going to have to deal with him somehow. First pitch to him. Leading off the top of the eighth inning, catcher number 33, Jason Varitek. And he sends this one in the air towards center. Roberts is there, and he puts it away for out number one. He had a pitch to hit, but he's just a bit out in front, and he sends an easy fly to center for the out. Base is empty with one out. First pitch to him. On the ground to center. Good one. Has it. On the first four out number two. Now that. Pedroia will stand in. He's over for two this far. Base is empty, two down. He throws. Here's the check swing, but it's called a strike anyway. All in one. Swung on and hit in the air to right center. And it drops a base hit. Well, John, to get a man on here with two outs. Now a double in the gap might just tie this ball game. Two outs and that on first. First pitch on the way. As this one one hops the wall. Ready with one hole pitch. John, it's a slider down on the way. But he just slides down and outside of the zone this time for a ball. Here's the two hole pitch. Weekly to center. Durham is up with it, throws it on to first and the side of the time. The Red Sox get no runs on one hit and they leave them at the second. Eight innings are in the books, it's on to the night. San Francisco leads two to one. It's the bottom three of the batting order coming up. Rich Aurelia will try and get something started. He's up third in the next inning. Strikes him off with one of the knees for the strike. He swings and hits this one pretty well. Deep right center. Into the alleyway, and he'll likely get extra bases on this one. Mark Sweeney comes in now. His final batting average last year was 251. His lifetime batting average is 260. He does. Lone one outside, one ball, no strikes. The 1 0 pitch. The 1 0 pitch, a fastball swung out of this. 1 and 1. Now the 1 1 pitch. Swing and ground ball to third. Over the first, four out number one. Rich Aurelian is the batter. 
Now, we're not seeing he knocked 23 out of the park. He knocked home 70 a year ago. First pitch, here it comes. Any good hitter will tell you the toughest pitch to handle is one that's breaking down and away. He's at the belt. The 1 0 pitch. Well, the man on second and one out. They're giving him first base intention. Well, the hitters should score the man from second base, so obviously they're looking for a double play. One out, on to first and second. First pitch, here it comes. First pitch is a change up, looked at, all in one. Round one is short, they might try for two. Guys, the throw. No one has one hit, and nor did that help. I have the bottom of the ninth, the Giants lead 2 to 1. And the 2 3 4 spots will be coming out next. Kevin Euclid will be coming out in the next inning, and they'll have to deal with him somewhere. On the way, first pitch is a fastball in there for the strike. Kevin Euclid! He looks at the fastball in there, and it's quickly 0-2. Oh well, he tried to get the outside corner, but he missed. Just barely. Smart hitter there. Here's a 1-2 pitch on the way. Trying to get him to chase the fastball away. 2-2. Two, two, pitch on the way. Well, the catcher called for it down, but this one is up. And the catcher is not happy with it. Full count pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on. Number 34. Well, three, two count. Everybody's looking for the fastball. He got the fastball, but he's out of his own. Good job by the hitter not to chase it. All right, first. First pitch on the way. And this is blowing away for ball one. Well, he's hearing his name in his home ballpark, but they still trail by one. On the ground, the short. There's one. And two. A double play. I'll be back. But you know, I bet this one brings back some great memories of getting two that you and did in the session. John, sure does. I always love making the double play. This is one of the most enjoyable plays to make in baseball. That is, except the big fly. Oh, yeah. Base is empty. Two down here. He deals. And this one is fouled off. Doesn't get the call on that side. One and one. Foul to the right side. The one two pinch. That ball is a little bit high in the air. Deep down the right field line. The one two pitch coming. Slide up tough to lay off, and it's two and two. The two and two pinch. Throws on to the first in time to retire the side. The San Francisco Giants win this one in dramatic fashion. They did it with pitching and defense and just barely enough offense. Yeah, it shows, John, that if you get a well-pitched ball game, you keep the ball in the ballpark, play good defense, you can win most ball games. Barry Zito was really tough to hit out there in the mound in this one. I think we have to say he's our 2K Sports Player of the Game. This was one of Zio's better performances today. He really put everything together. And he just looked like an ace out there today with that great curveball work. That does it for today's game. Until next time, John Miller for Joe Morgan saying 
Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Once again, the final score the San Francisco Giants win this one 2-1. So long from Boston.